the next wheels. Look who got impatient and took his car out too. <laughs> what the heck are you doing, bro? Too early. <laughs> How are you? Good, damn. Okay. Your car is lower than mine. Yeah. But your car's smaller, so it's. Dude, your rear tire, you can see the string. right in the middle of the road. I brought everything, yo. Everything should be in this bag. Well, we can shoot and shoot. And the uh, screwdriver found it too. This is what I hate about this kit. Ah, oh, just hit my knee. We're in the garage, and it looks like one of those fellas left the heat and the lights on. So I'm grabbing this one take. Hey, car day. Shane's with me. I'm just picking up a couple of parts, then we're gonna meet Steven and Simon at the commercial day. Hey, we're out of the garage now. Got a full house, kind of. Steven's working on his car. Got Shane and the G37 finally on the streets. And we're gonna do a few things on my car as well. <laughs> Dude, this is why I love this place. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to put that up somehow. My wheels. Damn, bro. Whew. All right, so I actually have a few car parts that I was planning on installing. Not entirely sure if I'm going to be switching out my unequal length headers for this equal length one, but we'll see. We got the over pipe, down pipe, nope. I don't know. You'll be into I'll give you my account. It's a bazooka launcher. Everything's so hentai with you, man. This is my process, man. I have to turn on the camera, do a little bit, do the actual work, and then switch. Behind the wheel.
I just posted a picture of rice on its birdie. <laughs> Let's see how many likes that thing gets. Oh, jeez, of course. Okay. Thanks, man. Thank you. If it doesn't fit on those holes, try turning it a bit. It's not bad. Let's do an actual side now. Yeah. No, go ahead. Yeah. Doesn't look half bad. Change it up this season, bro. Sick. <laughs> no, it needs to be lowered all the way. Yeah, exactly. It's their 18s, man. They don't fit the well. You know, I think it's time to put those puppies on. Woo! Yo, Shane, can you step on my brake? Just so you guys know what I've been dealing with for the past year and a half with my rally backer kit. Two inch mother spaces. Look at that shit. So for all of those who are wondering when I'm actually gonna get wheels that fit this kit, I've actually had them for a couple of months now. It's just, I haven't really had time to do any car stuff. Plus I only took this thing out like a couple of days ago. So now it's like crunch time to get this thing prepped and ready for car season. something funny there, I was gonna pretend to trip over that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, actually trip over it, boom! <laughs>
dude. That's dope. I'm excited, man. Yeah, that's why I want to keep it black for a bit, yeah. Tried, tried. Green too? Yeah, just a Man, I'm stoked. Look at that monster truck height, though. We ain't lowering it yet. There you go. Different. Hey. Brand new Matekis. I'll be saving these for the show, though. What a waste. It's like, fits one tire. Yeah, we bought that thing for like 30 bucks or something. Bought two, actually. Um, and <laughs> the picture itself was pretty deceiving. Two, two 15s. That lip, though. Looks good. Also, I just put up our first banner. You gonna try to take off your headlights? If you guys would like to see white wheels on Shane's G37, comment down below. I think it looks good. It makes it look more like a toy anyway. Remember, these are 18s, that's why they look so dinky. Imagine 19s in white gloss. This is what we needed, space. Now this is one of the reasons why I was really drawn to this place was because of the upstairs like office work area. Except I think we are gonna make this the shopping area so customers can actually come through the shop and then they can see any lost royalty member working on their cars. But then if they want, they can come up here. We're planning on putting a few couches and chairs, maybe a coffee table with like car magazines, who knows. And of course, our merch is gonna be plastered all over the wall. We're gonna get shelving units and this place is gonna look like, um, I don't know, just a sweet chill pad. So my plan is actually to move to half the store that I'm renting out right now in Calgary downtown, uh, which is like part of Urban Pop Shop store. I'm actually gonna stop renting and my plan is to transfer everything from that store to this location where you guys can come visit us. Come over to the balcony here. You get to see a bird's eye view of all the cars. Paradise. Can probably fit four cars up to four cars comfortably but if you really wanted you could fit like up to six cars if you bring it up to this wall got Shane sitting on one of his tires contemplating life Shane's trying to learn how to take off his headlights and Steven is just working on cleaning up his car this is called prep bumpers off wheels off all these parts a Yo, what up? All right, so I think I'm gonna end this video here. So there wasn't too many car things happening today. More kind of like a prep. We have basically one month to prepare for our first local car show, which is Driven Calgary. And yeah, that doesn't give us much time. So the fellows, Steven and Shane, both have their cars at the garage. So. Pretty much this entire week, we can uh, go back there and work on them when, whenever we get a chance. I still have plenty of things to do to my FRS, but that'll come in time. For now, just, you know, in the beginning stages, it's always about prep, and I think prep is always important. So, anyways guys, I'm gonna end this video here, so if you wanna get updated on when new videos come out on this channel, make sure you subscribe, drop a like if you wanna, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.
Simon's coming back home. Oh. Okay, everything popped up over like I'm over here too. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'll just keep working, man. <laughs> All right. Thanks. There goes Derps. Go follow him on Instagram if you want to keep up to date with his life. I guess it's time to go home. Why is it so cold?